biggest thing we do, all 1,300 of you that walk in the door every day, has a safe place to go. Hey Blue Jays, it's time for the Friday show. On today's episode, we'll take a look at WHS trap shooting team, meet Cooper Gus, and check out our new segment, Coach's Corner. But first, some announcements. All student Chromebooks should have a hard shell case on them. If you don't have one, please check with the help desk about replacing it. Please remember to charge your Chromebooks every night and bring your Chromebook to school with you every day. Stop by the Coco Cafe in the West Wing and grab a breakfast item. Eat in their commons area or grab something. They offer hot and cold coffees, smoothies, juices, pastries, hot sandwiches, and pancakes. Open daily from 8 to 8.20. If anyone is interested in wrestling this fall, please have them stop by Coach Ohm's or Mr. Rennick's classroom. Washington Police Department has been getting complaints from residents who live near campus about reckless driving practices by students. Patrols by SRO and Washington Police Department will be increasing in order to stop further complaints. Traffic tickets are not cheap. In addition to the fine, you will pay court costs and your insurance rates may go up. Tickets also result in points against your driver's license, which will ultimately result in suspension if you get enough of them. Four Rivers Career Center is accepting applications now until January 5th. For more information, scan the QR code. Brain Bowl will be held November 20th and 21st. Teams of four will compete against each other. For more information, visit the Brain Bowl website. And so far, uh, three and three, uh, lower levels are kind of the same, uh, same record. And so uh, going well, but want to try to improve here at the end of the year. What improvements have you seen since becoming head coach? Uh, from when I first got here uh, to what we're doing now, uh, just overall culture, kind of daily day interactions and how we're practicing and preparing uh, has helped us improve. What has stood out to you the most about Washington? Um, probably just home atmosphere. Uh, every time we've home, a uh, really good crowd, good uh, community. Uh, and has helped us uh, perform at a high level here at home. What are you looking forward to the most about the rest of the season? Uh, you know, obviously three games left here in the regular season, and then obviously we head, we head into playoffs. So uh, just excited about to uh, see where we go and if we can finish strong here and get on the right track as we head into the playoffs. What are you doing? My friend seems a little down lately, so I'm writing a note to cheer them up. Sounds like too much work. I don't got the time for that. Always on that phone, aren't you? I was texting my cousin. She lives in another state, and I wanted to make sure she was having a good day. I don't have the time for that, especially for a cousin that lives in a different state. Why do you have a John Lennon book? It's for my cousin. He loves John Lennon. Who has the time or money for that? Relationships with family and friends take time and kindness. If you don't make the time, then who will? WHS trap shooting season has just started. Let's take a deeper look at what this sport is all about. Trap shooting is where students uh, show up to a trap range and they bring their own shotguns and they shoot a moving target, a little clay pigeon that's about four inches in diameter. We compete every weekend from like the beginning of September to middle of October and then we're going to have an off season and there's a possibility that we have a couple shoots in the spring. Uh, the season is about two months. So, like we start practices in September which started this year and we end after October 14th. The Washington FFA trap shooting team is beginning to see improvements from their hard work. I would say our team has significantly improved this year. I think we are doing better than last year, like we're not placing very bottom, we're placing more towards the top of all classes. Uh, this year they're doing fairly well. I think this last weekend we ended up getting uh, eighth out of 19 teams, so not doing too bad. Uh, we practice once a week, so they're, they're getting better each week. Instructing trap shooting is fun because I get to be outside with the kids and using firearms, and I like to hunt myself, so this kind of teaches them some things about uh, hunting and safety, and the big part is safety and have fun. Trap shooting doesn't only teach gun safety, but other skills students will use throughout their life. It teaches you a lot of patience because it takes a lot of practice to get better, and you get a lot of team building skills teach you hand and eye coordination because you have to move your shotgun with the clay bolt and try to pull it at the same time. The team hopes to continue improving and members have set individual goals for themselves. When we go to our trap shoots we usually take two different teams. We have an A team and they've been doing pretty decent. Our goal is to get like third at a shoot some point this year and our B team 
we are seeing significant improvements on their scores. My personal goals for TRAP in the future is to get a perfect score, which is a 50 out of 50 or 25 out of 25, depending on how many you shoot. I want to be shooting the best. I want to win. From Blue Jay Journal TV, this is Hazel Cobra reporting. I'm involved in baseball and basketball, NHS, Link Crew, Student Council and Leadership, and Future Business Leaders of America. I'm so involved in all of them, but baseball and basketball are really two of my passions. So prior to baseball and basketball season, uh, I'm often doing volunteering through Student Council, homework and working after school, but during baseball and basketball seasons, practice and homework take up most of my time. Uh, I make time at home and try to limit distractions so that I can get it done as quickly as possible. I work as hard as I can in class to use the class time that I'm given to get my work done. Um, I'm planning on attending a four-year college, but I'm not sure exactly what I want to do yet. Uh, I'm interested in a lot of science fields, so that might be something I want to go into. Thank you for watching our show. For more news and views, check out our website at www.bluejayjournal.com. Have, Have a great, great week in Blue Jays. Jays.